Hey there, it's Felicia. I've been experimenting today with the Brother Skitch PP1 and managed to embroider a hat with it. The process is relatively straightforward, although I did find hooping the hat a tad challenging, but we'll show you how I did it. For this project, I used a hat I already had, along with a 3x3 hoop, basting adhesive, stabilizer, and embroidery thread. I recently signed up for the Art Spira app, and I'm currently enjoying the trial period. One of the perks is having access to a variety of free designs for subscribers. After browsing, I settled on this pretty floral design. I was able to change the hoop size to a 3x3, which is what I need for my hat. And then I was able to size that down even further to fit within the space of my hoop. Since I may want to use this design again for another hat, I made sure to save the modified version for future use. Before I went any further with the app and transferring the design to the machine, I went ahead and hooped my stabilizer in the magnetic hoop. And boy, are those magnets strong, but they make hooping the material so easy. I then took a ruler and marked the center point. This helps you line up your hat. I sprayed a little basing adhesive and then this is where it got challenging. I folded back the extra material around the inside of the rim of the hat and then I sprayed a little bit more adhesive because I really wanted that hat to stick in place. I grabbed some binder clips and used binder clips on both sides of the back of the hat to help keep that down in place a little bit. With the hat hooped, it was time to stitch. So back over in Art Spira, I clicked on information to see what colors this design is using. I could have swapped out the colors for others, but I really like the colors, so I left it alone. Now it's time to transfer the design to the machine. Just click that transfer button. A message pops up and tells you to press the accept button and the carriage is going to move. Then you click that transfer button again inside the app and the data is being sent over to the machine. Once it's done, the app prompts you to do a trial run. I did that. You can see that it outlines the area of the hat that's going to be stitched. I went ahead and pressed that hat down just a little bit more to get any of those bubbles out, those bumps, and then I was ready to thread my machine. Threading the machine is easy. You simply follow the numbers from one to nine. I love, love, love the fact that it auto threads the needle for you. Once the auto threading was complete, I tucked the thread into the hole of the foot and then pressed the start button. From there, you're kind of on autopilot and you're just changing the thread out when prompted by the machine. I love how this hat turned out. When I go to make my next hat, I'll look at trying to position the design a little lower or closer to the bill, but with this machine, it may not be possible. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and click the subscribe button and notification bell. We're putting out new videos all the time.